So one thing I've always been surprised is that <clears throat> no one, or I've not seen anyone demonstrate the chain stitch on Kenmore's. I know a lot of people don't really use chain stitch anymore, but this chain stitch is like the Wilcox and Gibbs and the Singer 24 type of chain stitch, or a lot closer. It's still oscillating but it uses this contraption to loop the hook around, or the thread around, rather than some of the more complicated mechanisms that you'll see on other machines. So this one needs to go to zero, ten. Okay, so this needs to go on, you have to, this machine homing slightly left of center when it's on straight stitch. And there's a special plate which I've just put on the chain stitch. And that's all you have to do to make a chain stitch. It's very easy. Now I don't have the straight stitch foot for this machine yet. Um, I don't. It says they are they do exist or used to exist in the past. I've not seen one on eBay yet. I'm on the hunt for one. Um, On and we're good to chain stitch. Getting it ten. So let's try again. Perfect. Okay, so what I wanted to do was show you some of the different techniques you can use with the chain stitch. So the first is when you set your length, I'm redu I've reduced the stitch tension a bit, and I'm going to increase the length to the longest stitch length, and I'll show you it makes quite a big difference in the loop. Let's see if you can see that. I'll keep sewing for a bit, and then you can see the difference. <clears throat> So that is the chain stitch at its longest. It's still pulling relatively tightly. Um, I'm not sure if I turn this off if you'll have a better view. Not really, because it's sort of not perfectly clear. So I'll try that. So it's perfect chain stitch, but it's it's quite Yes, it, it's it's a little better. I was looking at the wrong one, so it's getting a bit, a bit looser now, because sometimes you don't want a super super tight chain stitch, especially on delicate fabrics. It pulls, so you can see there's a bit of room there. Um, I'm going to reduce the stitch length to about ten, and just reduce that a little bit on the stitch tension as well. 
and let's the upper thread tension. We'll see if we get some nice, sort of attractive chain stitch loops. They are perfect and even. I'm wondering if I bring this ex my other light around, if that might help you to see these stitches a little better. Because so it's just not super great on the. Uh, So let's zoom in a bit and see how... Ah, yes, that's better. So you can see they're very good <clears throat> um, chains. And now we're going to try some other exciting techniques as well. So I can reduce this a bit more um, to 12 stitches per inch. It can't go much less than that because then the chains will start being on top of one another and that definitely is not what you want. Oop, yeah, so 12 is too little. It, it's okay, that's pretty good. Let's reduce this a bit. Yeah, I'd say that's about the minimum you can do is 10 stitches per inch, otherwise it starts looping inside each other. So as I said, user error. Um, so that's about just about 10 stitches per inch when you get to the small one. So any smaller than that, it goes loops on itself. So that would be user error. Okay, so now we're going to try some fun stuff. Okay, so I have put some rayon thread in. I've not had a lot of, lot of success with this thread when embroidering. What I'm hoping is that it might work okay as a chain stitch. So I've increased the chain stitch length. I'm going to reduce the um, tension a bit because it's a lot thicker thread than the the previous sewing thread. Let's see what this looks like in the back. Pretty good, I would say. Seems to be sewing very nicely. Okay, so I like that. Here, when it's pulling tight, it's got to work hard for this one, but it's definitely working. Getting a really nice chain, very regular. Um, so, what I'm wondering is <clears throat> how far I can reduce the tension because it's. because of my next exercise. Okay, so we're down to one and a half, and it's still looping correctly. So I'm hoping that's that will serve. Okay, so let's disconnect here. Because it's a chain, you have to pull the thread from the top. My word, that's very tight. So my concern was the thread seemed to be way, way too stiff, and again, as soon as it starts feeding, it gets pretty tough to pull. So 
one, I think. I need to look at my thread feeding. Let me just run one more test. See how that click? That to me means the thread tension is way too tight for feeding. So I'm going to try a different mechanism to feed the thread. broke the thread. That's why it jammed. Definitely seems to be the inherent nature of that thread, which I've always had problems with, but it's fun to try. Okay, so we're getting a proper stitch, so... Okay, so here is some bridal veil tooling. Let's see how this works. Puckering a bit, so I'm see if I can drop tension down a bit. Okay, I broke the thread there. I'm going to try better thread because I've never had a lot of success with this. And we'll try different thread. <clears throat> okay, so I've changed this for embroidery thread now. Gold, and you see how this works any better. It's making some unpleasant noises. So I'm guessing I haven't threaded it 100%. No, need to increase the tension. It's a lot thinner thread than the rayon, so it's not entirely surprising. Pretty good on the whole. A little bit of a something going on there, but uh, and maybe with a better needle. Um, but we're able to get a very nice looking chain stitch now. Okay, so I've changed the needle for a size 11, which is a little more sensible. Reduce the tension a bit. So 
now reduce the tension, stitch length to 10, tension at one and a half. It's sounding a little happier and it's not puckering the fabric anymore. So let's turn around and let's see. Yes, I'm much happier with that. That sounds a little more like it should do. It still makes very, very big loops. Um, if you, which could be a look you want, if you increase the stitch length to six. At eight, it goes back to normal. But it's certainly no longer puckering the fabric. So this is exactly what I'd hoped it would do. So that it's possible to do the chain stitching on tooling or bridal veils or whatever. And you can see with two different colors, you can get a great effect. Very nice looking effect. And you can go full tilt as well. Without any problems. Splendid. Beautiful result actually. I'm very happy with that now. Let's zoom in a bit. See, beautiful result.